Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Playing, um... Mario 64. So that's exciting. I just finished Metroid Prime. That's all still on the channel, and it went up on my YouTube channel, at Ninja Spaghetti. So if you ever want to watch that, it's still available. Uh, Mario 64, I played a lot, a lot as a kid. Okay, so, I actually am... I'm not amazing, but I'm pretty good. Hey Mario, please come <laughs> to the castle. I'm you. Do that text, or is it just the higher resolution? Peach. Go away, Peach. <sighs> Lackett's doing his little adventure thing. Honestly, though, this is actually very well done for, um, for, like, one of the first 3D games. They did this this intro cutscene very well to showcase that the world is 3D, even though half of the stuff is not 3D. It's a me! A Luigi! Yeah, not even close. Oh, gosh. Now, I did actually play... I've played this for years. Like, through my childhood, i played this game. No one's here, Mario. No one's here. What do I see? A toad. The moment that I walk in, there's a toad. So, no one's here. Except maybe that toad. Well, actually, maybe another toad. Which one is my dive button? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, that's, that is confusing. So... X and Y are the B button, and A and B are the A button. Who designs this? Turn. Fortunately, the, the C stick is the camera. Well, the, the right stick. But the C stick is the camera. I didn't want to go up there. Because we're on an adventure. I need to do it the, the real way. I can't start cheating at things until like a little bit later. Oh my gosh, that ball. That ball almost destroyed me. Oh! Hi there, bud! Closer to you than I want to be. Let's uh, let's go back over here. Up you go and down you go. I'm pretty sure that there's a faster way to do that by like just jump kicking. Yep. But I also suck. There we go. There we go. Here you go. One more time. You had a date with the ground. I'm sorry. You know, that's kind of how I feel. Like if I, <laughs> like if I sit in this chair for too long, my tailbone will get bruised, and then like I'll fall or like I'll I'll go to sit on my bed and I'll hit the tailbone like just wrong, and then it'll feel so bad that it feels like I'm exploding. For real. Terrible. Let's go. Let's go. Hello, friend. I bet I could beat him without jumping. I want to try now. Like without long jumping, I mean. Or diving. Obviously, I have to jump to get on some of these platforms, but I think I could win this with, <laughs> without long moving. You know, actually, I'm not sure if I can win this without long jumping. Because doesn't he get up there at like a minute? Ball. I didn't say I wouldn't cheat. <laughs> yeah. 
I am the champion of the running. He should be right behind me, though. Maybe. You know, I really love all these high-resolution images. For, like, the star, the coins, Mario's face, the numbers, all that. It just looks really good. There he is. Maybe it was a minute and a half. You're so fast! Yes, I am. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get that or not, I just wanted to check. I never did try to speedrun this game. Mostly because the people the people that speedrun it are all very good and there's a lot of them. Like, Banjo Kazooie, there's like I don't even think anybody's really running it right now. Anybody who's like yeah, had a world record. Mario 64 wait, which one is this? Shoot to the island. <laughs> uh, Mario 64, there was a lot a lot of people who have had the world record that are still still running or they're content creators for Mario 64. I am ready for blast off. But I'm not gonna use that cannon. I got bubbled. I don't know if that's the right shot or not. Yes, it is. Okay. Good. Next star or the star. Oh, I, well, I could do this star, but I'm gonna do it with 100 points. Simplifies the whole process, you know. I will go get Chain Chomp's star, though. Ah! I can't see. Ow. I'm very good at this game. See? Very good at this game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that would look so cool. Yeah, like that. Pretend that was the first time. So I guess I'm going to walk through this now. First, I'm gonna ground pound on nothing. That's um, it's a highly skilled maneuver. Not many people know about it. What's this door? Yeah, so I grew up playing this game quite a bit. Of course, that was on the N64 because I'm an old man. I did, I, I grew up with the N64, so I played lots and lots of N64 games. I mean, I speedrun Banjo-Kazooie, barely, but I speedrun it. Um, I played a lot of, a lot of Paper Mario. That's possibly one of the games that I've played the most. Talk to me. Makes me so mad. His, his, his dialogue is just full of jokes. It's actually really fun. Oh, that was weird. No, crushed again. I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel. Uh, gravel? Here, Wynn, take this with you. It's because I am the champion Mario 64. I can beat a level 2 boss. I think I could get all of these. Um, I think I could get all of the stars in this world without anything. Top of the fortress, which is the same mission, but now there's a tower on top. Oh, please. 
Mario, what what are you doing? Why are you walking like a slowpoke? Bro. Ah. Shortcuts are worth it, even if there's no time save. Isn't there like a wall somewhere around here? You can punch. Yeah, there's a life in here. Look at that. Apparently a lot of people didn't know that that was a thing. I'll be honest, I didn't either. <laughs> camera. Crap, camera, please. Why? Why did you just do that, camera? I want this angle, right here. Ow. A shortcut's a shortcut, even if they don't take time. Oh really, I didn't have it that time. I might, I'm not gonna take a shortcut now. Going up. The camera controls feel backwards for some reason. I think it's just because I was just in a shooter, but they feel backwards. This probably should take more than like two streams. Wait, what is this? Uh, it shouldn't take more than two streams. Um, I, I might be around tomorrow, I'm not sure. If I am, though, it's going to be later later in the day. I think it'll be similar to um, last night. Yeah. Punch that wall. Yeah, punch that wall. No! I thought he would touch it with his noggin, but he did not. Mario. 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 Thank you. Here we go! Is this the owl one? Or is this the red coins? Red coins on the floating aisle. So the red coins. Look at how cute he is sleeping. Bonk. I had a sneeze. Now my brains are outside my head. And they're all over my computer desk. Come back, coin. This level, there's a lot of coins. I know it's early, but there, there's seriously a lot of coins on this level. I would say that either this or Big Boo's Haunt is probably the easiest um, red, or not red coin, 100 coin mission. Just because of the, the sheer the sheer number of coinage. Big Boo's Haunt is because of all the blue coins that are available um, for killing the boos. I remember years ago, my brother and I had rebuilt a lot of these worlds in Mario 64. Or not, yeah. We rebuilt these Mario 64 worlds in Mario 64. In uh, Minecraft. We had a lot of projects like that. We redid the whole world of Banjo Kazooie 2. Ow. That one took a long time. That one was like a couple months worth of work. Of course, we were also like 14. <laughs> Where is the... it's not on that one, it's on this one. Mario. Really? That is one of the big problems with the, the way that this game is, is built. A lot of the slopes are slippery when they should not be slippery. Like, like they're designed to be walked on, but they are slippery. My face apparently had a date with the wall. It's okay. 
Mario's nose is a little too big anyway. Get it? Because he was Italian. Italians have big noses. I'm Italian, so I'm allowed to actually say stuff like that. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Don't bite me. a lot of coins on this map because you can get 10 coins out of each of those um, womps <clears throat> or whatever they are. Are they womps or are they flops? I literally can never remember because they're the same the same exact name for Cooper enemies. No! I hit my head. I can hear the thwomp or wump, or whoever he is, down there, trying to get me from up here. It's not gonna work though. I do have all the red coins. I was worried I was going to fall off the edge. I really wanted to land into the star, but I was worried that I was going to dive right off the edge and miss that star. But I did not. I'm okay. This is the, 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 the owl statue. No, not, not owl statue. What is it called? The owl mission? One thing that's important to know with the owl is that um, you maintain your momentum when you grab onto the owl. So if you if you jump and you're moving forward while you jump, when you let go, it's going to launch you the direction, the exact direction that you were facing when you jumped in, which is usually the opposite direction you want to go. Blast away the wall. Easy, right? It actually is very easy. Boop. He's fine. Mario's fine. I'm pretty sure that they intended for you to go and uh, shoot out of the cannon to get this star, but it's so much easier to not do that. Like, you could just walk to the edge here and slide down onto it. Just like that. That is way, way better than trying to shoot at it with the cannon, because the cannons are, are tough to use. What level's next? Snowman land? Nope, no, I'm going back in. Actually, no, let's do Peach's slide real quick. Should be Sun, or is that 12 stars? One of my favorite things to do as a child, though, was to try and get myself turned around so that I was going down the slide backwards. Or like, um, the kind of like belly slide. No, no, not belly slide. It's like a side, a side slide. I was one second too slow. 
That's okay, though. I didn't take the shortcut, like the jump. Here we go! It's gonna put me... Yep. Back out here. Oh my gosh. Let me in! Let me in! The speedrun is weird because they like they they get themselves turned around and then they jump down on top of it. Cause this slide like loops around so that you're you end pretty much under where you started. Uh, I think I failed. <clears throat> because because I um yeah. Because I made an oops. When I jumped, I jumped too far to the left. I didn't wanna um I didn't want to miss and end up falling off. Of course, I guess falling off would put me back over there. So that'd be cool. I am speed. Yeah, that's that's what I used to do. That's for the easy the easy version of it. You can actually get it just by sliding. You have you do have to be really fast. One of the castle secret stars. You're a castle secret star. Nope, that's down. Press ZL to land. Yeah, you know what happens if you push ZL? <laughs> you ground pound. Saying that that's a landing is kind of... Ah, generous. I always hated this star. Like, I wouldn't get it. Well, no, actually, actually, I would get it as a child, because my older brother told me that you had to get it in order to keep the wing cap. Get this, um, red coin star. You don't have to do that. You could just come in here. Ooh, that was scary. Um, you could just come in here and hit this button. And that's it. But no, he wanted to convince me that I had to do this star. Of course... <sighs> looking back on it, it's, it's not really that hard of a star. It just, um, when you're young... Controls are not the easiest thing for you, so... Especially something like that, where the controls aren't great in the first place. Banjo-Kazooie definitely did a better job with the flying than uh, Mario 64 did. Let's finish Bob on Battlefield before we go into uh, Snowman's Peak. Because there's 100 coins. Which I don't like in this world. <laughs> I seem to remember them taking me a very long time. Nice. And like they're they're harder than uh, they're harder than like Womp's Fortress, even Snowman's Land actually. That <laughs> poor Baba. Kamikaze Baba. Whoops! Here. It's not the direction I wanted that coin to go. I thought, yeah, there is a coin ring over here. Most of the coins, unfortunately, are in the air. I'll take that. You never know when you're gonna run out of lives. No, stop sliding, Mario. This is definitely the intended way to get this. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, I got bald. They blackballed me. I want to get to the island in the sky. Oh, over there. Because there is a lot of coins over there in the sky that I have to hit. And that's trash. That, I've never seen him spin around like that. <laughs> this is tragic. Unless I can shoot directly into this tree. I feel like that was not in the original game. I need the wing cap. I, I have to collect coins. I'm I'm holding I'm holding L and R or try, thinking that I need to hold L because of, of Banjo Kazooie speedruns. I feel like I have to hold it so I can turn faster. But no, you can't turn faster in this game. Just another reason why Banjo Kazooie is the superior collector thought. One of many. up to 80 coins, but I know that there's a lot more that I just haven't collected. Where's the coins? Okay. Come back. Whoa. I think I'll take one more shot. To try and get a bit more of those. Oops. Don't let me grab that star. to kill something with that. Like, just annihilate something. It's way easier to kill Goombas this way than it is to kill uh, Goombas by jumping on them. Pretty sure that they will respawn, they just won't... Uh, they will not give me any coins. Jeez! Employee of the month, everyone! I could see. That tree. That tree did not want me to see. That Goomba is scary over there. I really want that, uh, I kind of want that coin. Or that, the coin that the Goomba has. But, um, I don't want to, don't want to die. Or win. Not die. You really have to run around it counterclockwise. Yes, you do. There's three stars on my screen right now. At least there would be if there wasn't a tree in the way! Here we go! <sighs> Trees. Here we go! I think all trees should just become nuns. Like Mother Teresa. Uh... 
I do have something else planned, but I want to clear out some of the videos that I have in my in my hard drive before I start something else. I have a, a fun stream planned. It's a challenge run that I found. Because I'm an old man and play old man games. I remember at one point I tried to play Earthbound but never use a weapon. And it was really terrible until I got Paula and then it was no longer terrible. Because Paula's magic is is really her attack. Plus she gets um the Psy suck the PP suck attack. Where she sucks the PP out of you. <laughs> I wanted to bonk that Goomba. <laughs> so now to Snowman's Land. Snowman's Land isn't tough. It's pretty easy, actually. look at it. I think it's- I'm pretty sure it's the slide. Just completing the slide. This is another level that is really easy to do the uh, 100 coins in. Because of the, the number of coins that are in this slide. You ever feel like just- you're wasting time? Ow! Hello, Mother Penguin. Where has your child tragically been lost to? What a sound. Here we go! Yahoo! Oh, Penguin's lost. Come here, little guy. I'm not gonna drop you off the ledge. I gotta bring you to your mom. Because I'm a good Uncle Mario. <laughs> that is somehow way creepier than just saying Daddy Mario. Okay, so the child is missing, but I'm. I. Physic. Oh. 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 child is missing, and I physically remove the child from where the child was and take the child somewhere else. So I'm kidnapping, right? Even though I'm bringing the child back to the mother, I'm still kidnapping, yeah? Come here, little guy. I won't do it again. Probably. So, in my mind, I was like, ah, I'm just going to slide down this ledge. But, uh, <laughs> that didn't happen. It's all because of trying to be stylish. I could just walk across that bridge. But no! I have to be stylish. Nope, nope. Come here. I love that your cry sounds like a car alarm. Just a terrible car alarm. I honestly thought I was about to face plant into that wall. Penguin. Penguin, no, not that way. Penguin, no. That ledge. It's taken you twice. It won't take you again. I found your precious baby, did I? 
I'm sorry, all the penguins here look the same. I can't really tell which one of you is. Here we go! You can't be racist to get a penguin, right? <laughs> I'm a pengist. Big penguin race. There was this penguin show on when I was a kid. I can't remember very much of it. Like, I had to have been very, very young. I think it was called Pingu. I could definitely be wrong on that. I could, it could be something else that I'm just misremembering, but... I can't... I can't remember anything from the show, but I don't remember, like... Uh, okay. I think I, I think I actually lost. Even though I'm going to probably win. Oh my gosh, Mr. Penguin. Mr. Penguin. Yeah, I think because I, I jumped off a piece of the track and landed somewhere. I think he's going to be like, Hey, you cheated, bro. Why'd you cheat? Don't cheat. Cheaters for cheating. Quack, 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 quack. Am I disqualified? No, actually. You can fall off there. That's odd. Cool. It's not a problem. I don't mind that at all. <laughs> that's, that's just weird. would have to have collected 51 coins. What's next? Frosty Slide for Atrid Coins. So I need to acquire all the all of the coins. No, I don't want to race you. There is a lot of coins on this track, though, so I do want to collect as much as I can. I've been watching The Office, which I don't... I haven't actually had an interest in before. My, my older brother has been trying to convince me to... No! Play it. Or not play it. Watch it. For a long time, and then finally he's like, Okay, here. Here. You can watch it now. Just, just watch it. Watch The Office. Watch The Office! The Office! Um, so I'm watching The Office now with my wife, but um, I kind of hate all of the characters that I think I'm supposed to like. Like, I, I see a lot of, of, of Dwight memes, and I hate Dwight as a character. Like, I really don't like it. Um, and then Michael? I, I also don't like. A lot of times his, his personality kind of irritates me. Not irritates me, but it it repels the, uh, the plot in the direction that I don't like. A lot of times. Like, we're in season two right now. So we watched, um... The, we just watched, like, a Christmas special. Like, I don't like that. I mean, maybe it's because I'm old and sappy, but... I would rather just see the gifts that people bought for the people that they wanted to buy them for. Just go to the people that they bought them for. Right? Like, I, I, maybe I'm being unreasonable. <laughs> like, Michael does say a bunch of funny things, and Dwight says funny things. I'm not necessarily saying that they're not funny, I just don't like those characters. I would rather them be... less of who they are. <laughs> I also found out that Ricky Gervais... is involved with the show, and that's very weird to me. I don't know why that's so weird to me, but it feels really weird to me. Oh! And I've fallen down. I don't know if I can get back up there. There's a... Um, there's a blue coin switch. I don't... I don't get... I guess I don't... Coins do I have? Five? Oh gosh. Which ones am I missing? I know where one is. Other than that one. Oh, you know what? Actually. I'm okay. Yeah, it's right there. Ooh, hello, Stone Man. That wasn't very nice. The, the other one is, um, 
I have to climb back up the mountain. Mario's dead. Go back up for a third time, just to jump down, because yeah, it's really good. I need the life! I don't have very many of them left. Oh, I'm two coins short. Um... Come here, you're so cute. Oh! Gotcha. Lost head. Where where'd it go? Hey, I need a really good head on my shoulders. Do you know if anybody needed a body? I'm sorry. Are you some sort of like horse, or you know something that that? can decapitate itself, remove its head from its body. Oh, he rolling! Just like that. Perfect, what a great body. My challenge run of Earthbound, I think, is probably only going to be super hard in the beginning. I don't think- I think that once I get, like, all my party members, I don't think it's gonna be that hard anymore. I think it still will be difficult, especially- especially at the very, very end. Wait a minute, this is not where I'm supposed to jump off. I could talk to the cannon guy, I guess. But I don't think I want to. Bob. I could probably also long jump over there. I bet I could. My favorite character from The Office is, um, Kevin. I'm pretty sure that he's not supposed to be the favorite character, but I like him a lot. His, um... A lot of his lines are very, very dry and very flat, and it just feels funny to me. Wait, where am I looking? Am I looking in the wrong spot again? Okay, it is over there. I haven't done this one in a while. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. Um, so what happened there was I slid. Mamma mia! I tried to kick yeah. and it dove because I was already on my butt. Hegel. You can also use one of the like the flutter fly things to kind of like gently drift your way down. There's a heart down here. Uh -huh. 
I do that double jump. Yeah, that's a great camera angle right there. Is Mario Cam is Mario Cam better? I guess it is actually. And like a custom tailored camera, but no. Better to just use the Mario one that's stuck directly behind Mario. That is all of them in that world. So now we're going on to dry dry docks. Nope, that's not what it's called. It's the water place, whatever the water place is called. Ow. It is kind of wild to me to see, um, like, how how quickly speedrunners actually are able to beat this game. Because, like, I don't think that I've been going slow. Defi oh my gosh. Definitely not speedrunner speed, but I haven't been going slow. But speedrunners would uh, be a good way through the game already. Not bad this place would be if there was an eel in here. I remember years ago I was making with Toad's tools. I was making a modified version of Mario 64 where um I called it Hardcore 64. It was basically the concept of Kaizo. But not to the same caliber as Kaizo, because I'm like... I don't know how that was, actually. Probably wasn't as young as I'm thinking, but... Um, there'd be a lot of areas where I'd, like... I would put enemies that make the fight more difficult. So, like, there's a lot of those flipper enemies. With a little... Like, they'll... They have a little tray. You step on the tray and they'll flip you off. Um in with King bob -omb. Or like the Chain Chomp, there was three Chain Chomps there. In uh, bob -omb Battlefield. This place here, I could not, I really wanted to, but I could not get the Tornadoes or the Sharks to exist in this area. Plunder the second ship. I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember which one I, I was doing. Hello, eel friend. I don't know if he's gonna get out or not, because I didn't like go high five him. Yeah, he's not out. I guess I have to get close. Music is so cool. Ow! I don't remember the order. Of the ship, the chests in the ship. It was not that one. Um, it wasn't that one either. I don't know why I can't remember this one. The other one I remember better. Ooh, I almost drowned. That was almost bad. <laughs> I found it. And then I think it's... Okay, so now it's the other side. Other side, that side, middle. Pretty sure. I love the music in this area. Um, I think the Dire Dire Docks did a good job too. Did I call it Dry Dry Docks earlier? I think I did.
Terrible level two. I think it's mostly the angle that you, that you can see from. I think that for some reason your perspective is messed up. Rar, he says. Make your way out. Ow. Now don't tail with me and kill me. There, easy. That star was like one minute. Such an easy star, actually. Time the eel come out to pray? No, the eel cannot come out to pray. Treasure of the Ocean Cave. This one's easy. As well. Yeah, I figure since it's a Saturday, do something a little more casual. Something not not as hard as uh, Metroid Prime for the first time I just finished, or um, a challenge run of anything. Just something peaceful, something easy. I don't have to try super hard. I do still have work to do, unfortunately. I got pillared. Come on! Am I in the right spot? I was not, I was too far back. Tragic. That's okay. Is the next one the ocean current or is it red coins? Dang, it's red coins. I don't want to do the red coins. I think this box has coins in it. Yeah, three coins. You actually almost need those red coins. Or those three coins. Not red coins. You need all you need all the red coins. There's so few coins in this world. I think there's like 111. Most worlds, there's like 150 or so. This one? Nope. 111. That eel's not happy that I stole his treasure. Thanks, Clem. Nah. I'd like to try that one. I don't think I've ever gotten it, but I do like to try it. I'm, st I'm still doing the thing. I'm still pushing the button to try to get... to try to turn faster in the water, but I cannot. Because this is not Banjo-Kazooie. I do want to play more Banjo-Kazooie hacks, too. The ones that I've played have been really good. There's one that I've been following for years. Um, he still hasn't finished it. I've been following it for like six years, and it's, it looks really good, so I'm being as patient as possible with it. That's, um, Banjo-Kazooie Returns. I think it's supposed to be like a, uh, a total rehaul of the Banjo-Kazooie game. And I played, I played the demo of it. I was very upset too, because I played the demo of it and I got myself behind a note door that it was obviously you weren't supposed to open. It was like 890 notes that you needed to open it. They, they did not want you to open that uh, under any circumstances. 
and the cheats weren't available. I did I did check the cheats before I tried to speed run out. Um, the cheats menu was empty, so I jumped around and I made my way to behind the door, which meant that I had to go off the off the map because there was no one was the wall, and then behind the door. And I was very upset to find out there was no warp, which I mean was definitely a smart thing to do when making a demo. <laughs> Because somebody would find a way behind that door, and it was me. I was very sad that there was nothing behind the door, though. I was hoping for some new area. Or something. The hack does look really good, though. Whenever it gets released, I probably st I will probably stream it or play through it on YouTube. Unless it gets released in like 30 years, which at the rate it's going at, you never know. No, actually, he um, he streams, and I, I won't even watch these streams just because I don't want to get spoiled. Uh, he streams the game creation process that he's doing, which is like with. Google SketchUp, I think. And Banjo's backpack. The game really does look very good, though. I am anticipating its release. Highly- No! Highly anticipating its release. There's a coin ring over here I have to collect coins from. I, have, oh, I only have four red coins. So there's one up there. Why? Why did that not work? There's gotta be one in, in one of these clamps that I must have missed. Right? Because I think there's only two on the ship. Or is there three? No, there's no, oh, there is three. Okay. Hopefully I can get the uh, star off the ship. I'm sorry, what? Because that star is really high. I should just be able to ride the boat up if I get close enough to it. Yeah. Easy. I would love to save. I always love that they just recycled the ship that the eel was in. Like, no concern for the fact that there's a hole in the ship. Just put it back up there. Don't, didn't even replace the window. Like, you already have the window texture. Unless this is all one texture, one model. I've recovered 30 power stars. The last one, the last one in this world, I unfortunately not. Yeah. I knew it was coming. Should be able to knock this game out in like one or two, well, not one, but probably two streams. I was like as close as I could possibly have gotten. Ow.
Yeah, I need the metal cap to get this last star. So, now that I have enough stars, the only thing I have to do is... Go to Big Boo's Haunt. <laughs> Ow. I got doinked. That boo doinked me. I love this little cage because it's just a little square inside the cage. But then you get in here, it's like, no, it's the house. This music legitimately scared me as a child. Like, I was terrified of this song. Piano doesn't help. I think I'm super far away. Double kill! Oh, they both have their dialogue anyway. I don't even know, like, how did they attain, uh, how did they get the sound that they have? Because it's like, it's like if you played a piano with a harp, uh, no, not a harp, what is it called? A violin bow. That's terrifying. I do kind of love that it's it's really quiet when you're um, outside the mansion or in the basement. What was that? How did that? So, I think I bonked on the, the window frame? I think. This is more trouble than I almost always have with this mission. Hey, that was rude. Here. You can make your way over here, right? You cannot make your way over here. Okay. I will make my way over here for you. What a happy song. Nothing bad could come from that happy song. I want a mashup of the piano and the, uh, ow. A mashup of the piano and the, the I Igor boss, I think his name is? The fist guy? Well, two fists. The guy. The guy with the hands. Here we go. That was a lot worse than it needed to be. I mean, this area isn't too bad. There's lots of there's lots of shortcuts that you can do. I'm gonna try one now. Yeah, that's pretty easy. 
that lets me skip that whole bookshelf section. That was a quick start. It was like 30 seconds. Let me in! I want to go back to your house! Thank you! Oh, whoops, I did them out of order. I'm pretty sure that it's faster to do it that way than it is to, uh... Than it is to, like, walk through the, the lower area. I kicked the boo to death. Yeah. It feels good to kill a ghost with your own fists. Yahoo! That boo, though. He's always coming for me. Oh, I take your coins. It records isn't bad on this world, though. Who plays that piano there? Who can even play the piano here? Who's don't have fingers? Get down, get Mario. Get down. Hi, Ball. Please look at me. Okay, now look at me. Hey, now look at me. Hi, Ball! Ow. Man, I have run into him, like, every single time. That's so tragic. I can't even hit him. Come and get me, dude. I can do it without, it's just, it's very easy to do it, because there's um, another 25 points there. Oh, there's fire. Good! Actually, this is very good. Hi. <laughs> he just spawned the big one. As I'm leaving. Yahoo! I hate these eyeballs. They're even worse, like, in not it. I can't tell. I think I'm hearing a ghost out here, though. Not the big ghost. I missed the 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 
original Scuttlebug design had these really, really angry eyebrows. It's believed that the Scuttlebug was extremely angry because he's in like two Mario games. It's definitely not the truth. But that's what I want to believe. Man, why you gotta throw my coins all over the place, boss? The rest of the red coins are up on the second floor here. I think there's one in here. Oh, hello. Or is there two in here? And Mario was never heard from again. Trapped inside a coffin in Big Boo's haunt, he was lost. Yep, it's gonna squish me. <laughs> Let's let's heal before I try to go back in there. I don't think there was one. Yeah, there's not one at the end. Trying to remember where the other red coin is, because I don't think that there's two in here. What red coin did I miss? I don't think that there was one in here. What red coin did I miss? Is there one across the way here? Oh, it's right here. Okay. <laughs> Not too bad though. I think there's only one more that I can get here, and that's the uh, the big boo on the roof. Cause the yeah, big boo's back. The last one I need the invisible cap for. So I'm definitely not getting that. I forgot about that. There's even a blue coin switch in here that you just never use. I mean, it's only got four coins, so it doesn't really work for you anyway. But... <laughs> Punch. That, that's sad. I thought I was going to slide on my button. I did not. The way you're supposed to do that is actually by um, walking straight to the highest peak of the house and then sliding down onto the, the peak that you want to get onto. Oh wow. Oh, hi, book. That was a very mean book. Stop! Come on! There we go. <laughs> I could get the angle just right. I've killed everything. No, wait, I haven't killed everything. I find myself a lot of times accidentally sliding off of the roof on the other side. Doing that. Zero coins. Nice. Run for the boo! And now, at 37 stars, I can only go fight faster. Nice. 
I thought about trying something like crowd controly, but I don't know if I would actually have fun with that. I think I might get annoyed from people, um, like even just the the making me slip, turning ground to ice physics. No, why? Why? Why did he turn like that? Instead of turning directly around. I hope I don't run out of lives. Mamma mia. I do love the sound of the... the distortion guitar MIDI that they use in this game. I think it's really good. That was scary. I almost died. I remember I was trying to see if you could collect like 100 coin missions, 100 coin stars in Bowser levels. So I actually went and I collected all of the coins throughout this level and waited and farmed coins from Bowser breathing fire, because when he breathes fire up, uh, it produces coins. Now, there's no stars. I was really sad because I was I was I was gonna be like, yeah, I've got 121 stars in Mario 64. Never did the thought occur to me that there really is not that many. Yeah, that's cool. It's actually we'll we'll long jump across instead. Safer. What are those things called? I can't remember what that's called. Is it just called like a buzzer? that it put it over here for some reason. I know Bowser in the fire sea, the next Bowser fight, it does that. It puts it next to the last one. I'm not even gonna pretend to jump over the pipe and actually fall it. I'll just I'll just do it normally. Music is great as well. Yep, I forgot which button was the grab button. I am the internal Bowser inspector. Easy. And now I have a key to the basement. Which gives me access to a bunch of hard locks. They're not too bad though. I don't I'm not sure which one is supposed to be next. Although I suppose I didn't do them in order anyway, because I did um this whatever it's called, the um the ghost level. Big Boo's haunt. 
kind of did Big Boo's haunt ahead of where I was supposed to, because I'm supposed to do it now. That's not the direction I want to go this time. Come here, bunny. Yeah, that was way too far. That was way too far. Come here, bunny. There we go. Do you say finders keepers? I like that he holds it with both arms, but it's definitely in that one hand. Here, bunny. Now, when you jump down, you're gonna break your legs. One of the most difficult stars in the game is right here. That was pretty brutal. It, it's pretty. It's tough to get that star in particular. I fell in the goop. Oh, you know what? I should have got the Abyssum Cap. The Beast. Let's open this way, actually. This level's a fun one, actually. This this might be my favorite level. There's lots that you can do. There's lots of uh, shortcuts, backdoors, all kinds of stuff. Ow. Is this, wait, is this the right way? I don't remember how to get to the cave. <laughs> there is no doors here. Uh, oh, you know, I think I know where it is. I've decided I actually don't care. There's a star over here, so I'll, I'll grab this anyway. A lot of the stars in this world are pretty easy, except for the, the red coins and hunter coins. It's not easy. I hate it, actually. That's another really quick one. I think, I think that might be the quickest star in the game. In a level. I mean, obviously, like, the Toad stars are, are very quick. You get them in, like, ten seconds. But I think that something like that is probably probably the fastest. Or maybe... Maybe in, um... The sand... Shifting sand lands. I know there's one... There's one, like, just sitting at the top of the pyramid. I got bouldered. That one, that one might actually be fast. I got bouldered. Yes, this is the way I wanted to go. I'm okay. Where is he? Nessie? Where 
is he? There's my dinosaur. My big purple dinosaur. His name is the cuteness monster. I don't know why I couldn't find him though. I think he was parked on the other side. I think because he was completely out of sight. The game unrendered him. Elevate for the eight red coins is this mission. I decided I'm not gonna go for that actually. No, stop that, stop that, stop that. My reasoning for not going for that is that I don't have the metal cap yet. Which makes the 100 coins much, much easier. Oops. Mm, well, actually, you know what? Maybe I don't need it. We'll see how many of these blue coins I actually get. Yep. So I'm gonna go for a different star. <laughs> that Monty Mole. He is the champion of this realm. Is that the elevator I wanted to take? Yes, it was. Just... Yep, I get just one touch that. They, they even put a wall there, but like... It doesn't do anything. I don't think I can describe how much I actually hate this Rainbow Ball mission, though. And 100 Coin mission. Because you, you... I think you have to do them together, really. Some worlds you don't, this one you definitely do. Yeah, this... this block, they do not give you a lot of time. Oh, Monty Ball. I don't think the missing one is a huge deal. I think there's still, I mean, there's still plenty of coins. This map is also very spread out. There's lots of different areas that you can go to. Which I think is in part why it's so difficult to uh, get the 100 coins. Ow. Why is that spot flat? The spot that they're landing on? That doesn't make sense, right? Oh, Back here, you. I have to regain the ones that I lost going to uh, Bowser. Ow. Is there any coins down here? There 
there's coins around that star, but I think I'm actually gonna head back up. Well, I can grab them real quick. It shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Alright, I'm under the dinosaur. I was pretty sure you could do that. Oh, I wanted to long jump off his head so bad. When I landed on his head, that 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 thought crossed my mind. But I was I was tragically unable. That base. The slap base. No! I thought I was on the wrong side. I saw the door too late. Good thing this isn't a speed run. I was really worried that I was going to get bouldered and die. No! Huh. Oh. My heart. I'm okay, though. It scared me, but I'm okay. One blue coin would have made a, a very large difference. But that's okay. I should be. I should be fine. Is there one over there? I guess there's not. There's an area up here. Got some stuff to do, so I should probably do that. Because I think it puts the star down bottom. I also think I might be short like two points. There is still a uh, scuttlebug in the, like, the starting hallway. I do have to jump over a pit. I go in the cave. I guess there's bats. The poison cave. Camera, camera, please. Why are you doing that to me? Get up there, please. Please. Thank you. So the sniff it could give them all to me. 
<gasps> oh no, I just did that. I just did that. No. No. That's so sad. Let's go. That's so sad. You have no idea. I need the red coins in order to get. Oh man. I assume this sniff it probably does not. Er, Scuttlebug. Scuttlebug, please. That is possibly the saddest the saddest thing that could have happened to me. That was my own fault, I didn't think about it. But oh man. Can I get up there? Yes I can. I'm just trying to make it easier on myself. Because I'm already here, and picking up the 100 coin star, unlike the 8 red coins, does not um, does not take me out of the world, so I can still go and get the metal head. Metal, metal, metal cap. Not the metal head. Metal cap. Make me get out the fly swatter. I'll hit you with a fly swatter. Because you're bugging me. <laughs> Hopefully, this will be enough and I will not need. Because I missed that one blue coin that was right in front of the Monty Ball. The window is not big, though, for all those, um, all those blue coins. my camera does this. Doesn't give me a headache at all. Ah! He didn't long jump. I, I pulled the trigger, but he did not. He did not long jump. enough, I hope. So long as I do good on the blue coins. If I don't do good on the blue coins, I will save it for next time. I guess they only top drop two. I hate you so much. I literally hate you. box I can't use okay I got a good majority of them ow side side hop collect up as many coins as I can on the way there to make up for those lost red coins. Yeah. 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 
Please, Bat, come back. You slapped me. Now it's my turn to slap you. Yeah. With my fist. I thought the door was on that wall. It was not. Yeah. I remember going back to my um, Hardcore 64 conversation from earlier. I remember this level. I filled the hallway, like the entryway, with Goombas. When I say filled, I mean like it was it was loaded with Goombas. There was there was no reason to have that many Goombas. Like the frames would drop so hard <laughs> because of the Goomba quantity. It was it was funny though. It didn't really make the room any harder. That was one thing that I was having trouble balancing the difficulty of was the 100 point stars that became much easier because there were so many more enemies to fight. And like, there was stuff that I would do that would kind of fight against that. Like, I would change all of the all of the enemies that would drop blue coins out for Goombas. Ah. Oh. I didn't dive because I was like, no, nah, I'm gonna make it. That was a really good one. Really, really showing off my professional gamer skills. I just did not want to grab that blue star. At 97 coins, again. Because that would just be insulting. I would be very upset. With myself. I don't think I can make this jump. Nope, because I slid off. Nessie. Nessie, where are you? Yep, that's what I was worried was gonna happen. Get, get on the dinosaur. There we go. No, no, on the dinosaur. Mario. Mario, please. <laughs> Just riding a dinosaur. This is this water Yoshi? Yoshi with his swimmies on. Yahoo! I don't actually remember where all the coins are in this. I think it's easier than I thought, though, because I think that they're... All of the water here. I think there's one like right here somewhere. Yeah. Good. I think that one is the easiest of all the all the cap red white missions. Here we go. Where's that gonna put me? Oh, it does put me out of here. Good. Good. Because it loads a different area. That scuttlebug almost got destroyed and it wouldn't have been on purpose. Now, for Metalhead, Mario can move. I... I forgot that the thing was up here. The box is up here. Yeah. 
I think it also lasts maybe the shortest amount of time. Either the metal cap or the... Actually, the, the, the invisible cap might actually run shorter. No! No! <laughs> I was so close! It just didn't long jump. <sighs> okay. And I have to go open the gate again, too. I can't even just, like, go back down there and grab it. This has got good music. That thing is gonna squish me. I think that if it squishes you, it'll push you out of the wall. Or it actually will just crush me and I will die. I'm not- I can't remember. One of the two. Can Metal Mario slide underwater, or does he have, like, unlimited traction? Play it safe this time. <laughs> All in that world? I actually want to go get the invisible cap and then re complete the uh, the two levels that I needed them in. Cap one is is still not as bad as the uh, flying one, the flying cap one. I don't know why the flying cap one is so hard, but it really is. I think there's no points here. I don't know which platform I'm jumping to next. Up to 18 lives. Which is kind of a shame because um, I definitely would need them for all the later levels, but I'm not going to do all the later levels today. Z999. I do. I love this game. Um, I played it as a kid. I bought the 3D, the 3D collection. Love this game. I like all three on the 3D collection. I think I like Mario Galaxy the best though, just for the music. But I definitely like them all. I'll probably stream all of them eventually. Even Mario's excited to get in this painting again. Get to hear the music. Yahoo! 
Oh, you know what it is? I, I was just talking about that I think that Metal Mario might have, like, infinite traction. But they probably just don't make water, like, anything in water slippery. That's probably what it is. trouble in particular with this this mission trying to complete it oh hi Mookie. as a child hmm. yep. well I wasn't very good at wall jumps as a child and it, I don't think that it was necessarily my fault the, uh, the control scheme is not amazing in this game it's something with the way that Mario moves that the problem that the problem lies. Like that he can't just turn on a dime. should I go to next? Oh, Nips is back. I failed to catch the Nips. If I had dove, that would have worked. What? He ran. He ran through my arms. This way, I guess. No. Feeling lethal lava land over over shifting so I'm gonna go to lethal. Let me make sure I have all the stars though. Okay, I do have all the stars thus far. It's even in order. Why did he bring me into the lava with him?
Peggle. Bully the bullies. Now there's two. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming, unfortunately. There was not a lot I could do to stop it. Why? Why did that just happen? That one too also brought me into the lava lake. This is this the A red coins? Pickle. Is the shell there for me yet? It is not, so I'm actually just gonna grab the A red coins. I mean these these are some of the few eight red coins that are that are so close together that it, it it's never a problem if you don't if you grab them and just grab the red coins. So, Having the shell is a lot easier than uh, doing this 100 coin mission on foot. But, like I said, it, it doesn't take any time, as it is anyway, to collect those 8 red coins. This is something I've always been confused about. I think that they want you to like actually walk all the way around. But it's so much faster to fly. You can actually I think you can fly over the wall too. Please! The slope is beating me. You can just fly around. Don't have to roll through a log or anything like that. I never understood that. Like I don't get why they why they do that. It was probably after that mission that the shell shows up. sound hearing the bullies blow up like that. Yeah. They deserve it, because they're bullies. I did, I did destroy my shell by accident early. Mamma mia. I don't think I'm going to go for those coins next time either. Um, that In that way. I 
don't think there's a blue coin switch on this level. Doesn't really need to be, there is a lot of points. What you gonna do, boys? You can't get to me. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. The camera wants to turn in direction like that one is. I didn't know that you. Oop. But I have actually more coins than last time because I grabbed that blue coin too. I, I lost the yellow coin in the hole. Wait a minute, I'm at 62. Things like that happen to me. Four points over here. Yeah, that was hot. There, am I missing coins somewhere? is just a drop in the bucket. I need a lot more coin than that. Yeah, there's not a lot of coins in the volcano. Which coins did I miss? Oh, there. This ring plus these two bullies. That's another tap. another nine. I'd say there's probably 16 coins in the, in the volcano. I don't, I don't know where there is any more. I thought it was going to burn me falling in. I was about to like lose my mind. Stop burning yourself. Mario, you don't have the health to be messing around. We're at 95 coins. No longer positions. It doesn't position me to climb on the cardboard tubes. Which is what those were that I was climbing up. 
I think the only one left is in the volcano now. Yeah, the elevator Single. tour in the volcano. And then I slid down the volcano. I have a chance at life. If I get if I get burnt once or get fallen off once, I have a chance to survive. This is such a slow star. I think there's a shortcut you can take by climbing the other way. That just about does it for me today. Shorter stream today. But uh, I have stuff I have to do. Tragically. But that's everything in the first seven worlds. We're about half done. Plus ten secret stars. So next next stream. I don't I don't know if it'll be this next stream. Um, but it will be soon. Ooh, just barely survived. <laughs> Thanks for coming out, everybody. See you next week.